So let's start that design process by creating the logo. But uh, first, I'm just going to hide the grid. I won't need it just, uh, just now. But I'm going to create a new layer that I'm going to rename and I'm going to call it um, header, just like so. And I'm going to grab the artistic text tool and I'm just simply going to type in created, just like so. Now, the font that we are using is, uh, well, our main, for our main heading font, which is called Hint, as we already know. But of course, we don't want it to be this light. Uh, I mean, when we create, if we created a darker background, of course, we could go with this light color, but we want to add a gradient to it. And since we have this, uh, this swatch right here, this fill, uh, this gradient fill, we can simply add it to our, uh, to our text. However, if you don't have a gradient, uh, gradient uh, swatch right here, you can simply go ahead and activate the fill tool. And in here, where you can uh, see type, you can use solid, which would be a simple color, any color that you would want, just like that. But you can also choose linear gradient, elliptical gradient, radial, conical, or even you could add a bitmap to your logo, but that that would be strange for, for a logo uh, on a website. So I'm simply going to choose linear, like so, and as you can see, we already have this, maybe let me just zoom in a bit, we have this gradient, gradient slider right here, and if you want to change the colors of the gradient slider, you can simply click on this, um, this uh, box right here, and you can change the colors of your um, of your gradient uh, uh, of your gradient stops so maybe we let's choose something like that maybe a bit darker i mean you can play around with it uh, whole afternoon and you can just click and change the direction of the slider just like so however as i said i am simply going to use this mm, uh, this gradient uh, swatch right here and i'm gonna make it significantly smaller now I will bring back my grid just so I can see uh, what I'm doing right here. And I'm going to move my logo up here. I'm going to place it against my left, uh, left column, but this first column right here. And I'm going to increase the size, let's see, 36 maybe. Maybe that's going to be a bit too big. 28 should be fine, just like so. Of course, we can always, we can always change it to later if we want to. So now that we have our logo, let me just quickly show you what it looks like right now. Now we have our logo that actually might uh, might need some tweaking. I mean, it might get, we might want to extend it just a little bit to somewhere here. Why not? So now that we have the logo, we can move on to creating the navigation and embedding our first icons, those social media icons that we just saw in the previous video. Let's actually, let's actually leave the logo for just a second and then let's move on to creating the navigation.